From soccer to softball, lots going on in local sports. I'm Zach Watson, and first, the Oconee County women's soccer team is on a 5-0 hot streak, heading into a tough matchup tonight against the Lakeside Vikings. No, it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be like, it's going to be hard, it's going to be tough, it's going to be aggressive, and those are the best games. So I'm actually yeah. really excited. We want it to be a solid game. Then we fight for the win, and it feels that much better when yeah. it happens. One teammate who will, I'm sorry, winning teammate, winning teammate. But good takes, good work, Arisha. No apologies. All right, so I'm, okay. All right, I'm ready to rock when y'all are. From soccer to softball, lots going on in local sports. I'm Zach Watson, and first, the Oconee County women's soccer team is on a 5-0 hot streak, heading into a tough matchup tonight against the Lakeside Vikings. No, it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be like, it's going to be hard, it's going to be tough, it's going to be aggressive, and those are the best games. So I'm actually yeah. really excited. We want it to be a solid game. Then we fight for the win, and it feels that much better when yeah. it happens. One teammate who will be geared up and ready to play is 16-year-old Sarah Lewis. Earlier in the year, we met Sarah, a courageous girl who was facing a kidney transplant after being diagnosed with autoimmune disease. Well, Sarah is doing just fine. She scored a goal Tuesday for the Warriors, and Sarah still won't change her attitude. Well, I'm not a quitter. I, it kills me to, like, you know, stop doing something, and, and so I'm just motivated. I, I, it's, it's hard to explain. It's just like, I don't know. I just, I, it's the grace of God that he gave me strength to continue because I am very tired and I do want to quit, but I, for some reason, keep going. Sarah and the rest of the Warriors play tonight at 6.